Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from IDB. We're now in winter, which means we have a bunch of really cold months ahead. That means more than any other time of the year, coffee, tea, and hot chocolate are going to be consumed more and more each day. But even with the fanciest of insulated mugs, your drink still gets cold. That's where Ember comes in. This is a temperature controlled ceramic mug. Basically, you just make your drink, whatever it may be, adjust the temperature using the Bluetooth connected app, and then enjoy your drink pretty much all day without the temperature ever dropping. Ember also comes in a travel mug, but in this case, we are going to be taking a look at their ceramic mug, which is pretty normal looking. It looks like anything else you'd pull out of your cupboard, except of course it has its own special charging coaster and it can heat up your drink all day long. Whenever you pick one of these up for yourself, whether through the link below in the description or even at your local Starbucks, you're going to get the mug itself. You're going to get a special charging coaster that you can use to actually charge up your cup to set it on there. It also keeps any drinks or rings off of your table. And of course, the power cable that plugs seamlessly into the back of the coaster. The cup comes in only that white color and it is not completely a ceramic cup. It is actually a stainless steel core, which then has a ceramic coating on the outside of it. No worry if they even have a sticker on the back letting you know that it is FDA approved to drink out of. The whole experience is really nice and doesn't make it overly cumbersome. I feel like a lot of Bluetooth accessories you have to go in and tinker with and always connecting and everything like that, turning it on and off. Ember isn't like that. Basically, you only have to turn it on one time. So just once you go ahead and plug it in, get it all charged up first, Hit the button one time it'll go ahead and pair with your phone that's it you can go ahead then and jump into the app set your preset to whatever drink it is that you may be drinking and you're good to go you don't have to worry about it set it and forget it of course you can always go in there and change it later if you want to adjust the temperature you can do all that stuff but you don't have to constantly repair you don't have to constantly turn this thing on and off it'll actually know whether it is empty or if there's drinks in there that it needs to be heating up the app looks really nice and it even has already been optimized for the iphone 10. They walk you through a few of the basic features of the mug itself and the pairing process. Once paired, you can go ahead and create your account, set your personalized color. This is super useful if more than one person in your office or your home happens to have an Ember mug. And considering you can actually connect three different Embers straight to one phone, it's really useful to have multiple ones so you know whose is whose when you're actually uh, setting them up and drinking out of them. Like I mentioned before, it is actually pretty smart and it can tell if the cup is empty or not. So if it is empty, it's not going to bother heating it. And then once it does have some drink in there, so if I start to pour in some fresh tea, I pour in some hot water and it immediately springs to life. Okay, it knows I've got tea in there and I need to start heating it up. You can go ahead and set that temperature anywhere from about 120 degrees all the way up to 145. But fret not, if you're not sure what temperature that you need to put something on, they do have automatic presets that are already calibrated for different types of beverages. You can go with those, you can edit them to change them to what you want, or go ahead and add additional presets for something like hot chocolate as long as well as the coffee, tea, and a latte. Now, I do like my drinks a little bit hotter than most people, so even when I had my temperature all the way up to 140, the battery seemed to last a little less than I would have liked, but considering that the coaster would normally just be next to my desk, it doesn't seem like a big deal. I mean, I just come and sit it down next to my computer or on my desk every time, so it is constantly being charged, and then if I get up and go somewhere, it's still able to keep charging it while I walk around the house or the office, and it's still just keeping that power there, keeping it heated up while it's not on its coaster. So this has just been a phenomenal drink, especially in these cold winter months, it's been single digits. Uh, currently up here in the northeast US so something like this to keep your coffee going all day but it looks normal it doesn't look like some fancy gadget it has a subtle light down at the bottom other than that it looks like a normal coffee mug but it's able to constantly have your tea your hot chocolate your coffee heated all day long I don't really have many complaints about Ember this seems like a fantastic idea I both love the one for the home as well as the portable cup for when you're out on the road and you still need your drink hot my only minor complaint, maybe the uh, power adapter is a little bit too large, but that's a pretty minor complaint when it comes down to it. I absolutely love this thing. If you want to pick one up for yourself or for anyone else on your list, you can find the link down below in the description. And I want to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Is this just another gadget that unnecessarily adds Bluetooth connectivity? Or does the Bluetooth make it work better because it makes it more seamless and looks more normal and not like some weird fancy gadget? Let us know down below. Subscribe. Till next time.
This is Andrew for IDB.